calibration may be carried out by third parties, but ensuring that calibration procedures have been correctly followed, should remain with the instrument owner. The instrument owner can be the equipment user, the pharmaceutical manufacturer, or the company who is subject to regulatory control. The contract acceptor should maintain suitable premises, if applicable, equipment, knowledge, and experienced and competent personnel. They may not pass, to a subcontractor, any of the work entrusted to them, nor change any of the agreed tests or methods, standards, or limits, without the contract giver's prior evaluation and approval of the arrangements. This slide shows what would be required on a calibration certificate. Apart from the basic information, which uniquely identifies both the instrument and its function or location, this list is viewed as good practice. It is generally expected for audit purposes. The audit section for signature is optional. Some companies just use a comments section to indicate that an audit has been conducted. It is not expected that this would occur on more than a sample of the calibration certificates. <laughs>